Hi, Matt Casey, Data Science Content Lead with Snorkel AI, here today to talk about enterprise alignment with Chris Glaze, Principal Research Scientist, also at Snorkel AI. Chris, how are you doing? Good, very excited. Can you concisely explain what enterprise alignment is? So the idea is to take the, the concept of large language model alignment and AI alignment and apply it in domain specific and enterprise specific ways. The, the goal is to get the AI to um, match the goals of the user or kind of the entities that are kind of training the AI. So don't just respond or encode knowledge in the right way, but do so in a way that is aligned with the goals of the people. So businesses and enterprises have their own policies. You know, you can think of that as a bringing the gamut from, um, you know, if you're an insurance company, what are policies governing the way you handle claims, all the way up to more macro issues, such as uh, what are HR policies governing the way um, you know, people interact with each other. You've worked directly on several enterprise LLM projects. What LLM shortcoming has surprised you the most when it comes to enterprise alignment? The biggest shortcoming I've seen has actually been um, in how these large language models can interact with other kind of system components in the enterprise. The complexities in large language model alignment are actually unsurprising. This is something we've been anticipating for years as a company. In fact, it gets at the heart of what we've been calling programmatic data development. The surprising part are kind of the complexity of implementing that and engaging uh, with all the stakeholders to make sure that we are in fact encoding the right set of values. So what approach have you found to be the most effective for enterprise alignment? And why is this hard to do outside of a programmatic data development approach? The, the whole premise here is that really effective AI development is going to require subject matter expert input. It's very difficult to do that if you have expensive subject matter experts who have other things to do. You don't want them to kind of sit down and write out thousands of examples for the AI to tell it how to do its job. You want to include them efficiently and in scalable ways. Have them provide rationales as to why you know this outcome was good or bad. So you know the techniques that we're developing as a company is to facilitate that whole process in a more kind of elegant way. And you mentioned off-the-shelf models. You know, some of the chatter this, these days is that the off-the-shelf models are getting better and better with each generation, and the generations are coming very quickly. Some people think that in the future, this kind of customization won't be necessary. I understand that you think differently, and why is that? Because there, there's only so much that I think uh, a generalist AI system kind of anticipate um, when it comes to the specific needs of a business. So first of all, these models are trained on publicly available data. What you don't see in those giant web scrapes are the proprietary information that lives within an enterprise's ecosystem. Um, you know, there's a lot of sensitive information that lives there and really proprietary subject matter expert knowledge that differentiates those businesses from their competitors. I don't anticipate that ever going away. The, if the knowledge isn't in the web scrape, it doesn't matter how big the model is, it just doesn't have access to that information. Is there anything else that you would like to add about enterprise alignment while we're here? I, I mean, it's been really exciting work. One of the things I want to say uh, in terms of the work that our team, not just our team is doing, but also the product team at Storkel is, um, you know, our, our focus is on the needs of customers. Um, everything we do is, is oriented towards solving complex business problems. Um, that can't be solved by off-the-shelf solutions. And, uh, and this, this has been the funnest work that, that I've done so far in, in my career. Well, Chris, thank you very much for your time, and we'll talk again soon. Good. Cheers. Bye.